Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm pretty excited to show you a brand new scooter by Freedom Scooters called the Chaser 1000. This scooter is fast, has a 300 pound weight capacity, can go up to 22 miles per hour and has about a 21 mile travel range on a full charge. Now, before I get too far into this video, I just wanna mention two quick things. Number one, if you want a copy of our brand new product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com. Just click on the uh, green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out that simple short form, and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also wanna say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our giveaway. We give away a free scooter once a month. All you have to do is subscribe, it's free, it takes no time, so hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'm gonna show you the last winner just for a moment so you can see that it's legit, and we'll be right back with you. All right, so I'm just we're here with petition. Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, really have no idea. I really thank you so, so much. No problem. Can I get a hug? Yes. Another hug? Definitely. Subscribe right away. <laughs> That's it. Keeping it simple. Do you like the scooter? I love it. What do you think about it? I need a bed, believe me. Is it gonna is it gonna help you get around better? Yeah, yeah sure. Sure will. Awesome. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you subscribed and good luck to you if you did. Now again, the Chaser 1000 can go up to 22 miles per hour. It's a pretty heavy duty scooter. I mean, just look at the tires on this thing. They're big, knobby, what looks like about 13 and a half inch tires on the rear. And on the front, you've got about a 16 and a half inch tire. It's a little bit thinner, but still lots of knobbiness to it. Very good for traction. It's got front and rear brakes. The rear brakes, there's a pedal right here, which is conveniently located on the floorboard. And if you slam that thing down, you're gonna see it stops it really quick. Now it's got a 1000 watt motor and the seat does come up. It is height adjustable. You can see the little holes here in the bicycle style clamp. So if you wanted to lower the seat, you just loosen that clamp, loosen that nut a little bit. And then you can push that little, depress that little thing in there, either lower it or raise it up to the top if you're taller. Now I'm gonna keep it in the middle setting just because I'm about 5'11", which is an average height. So I'm assuming the middle position is gonna be the best for me. And at this point, scooter's ready to ride. You can remove the seat, but it's not gonna be the most transport friendly option. It's a big scooter. So we're gonna talk about the dash really quick. On the left side, you've got your handbrake and your parking lock. So if you need to park it, it doesn't have automatic brakes. It will roll down an incline. So if you're on an incline, you could lock it in. Here's the horn button. This is an optional cell phone holder with a USB charging port to charge your phone, which is nice. Just widen that out and basically you can put your, um, your phone in there and then tighten it up and it'll hold it into place. Now, as far as being able to turn the unit on, there's a key right there. When you turn it on halfway, the power's on. It shows you the battery meter gauge with the lights that turn off as it starts to discharge. If you go all the way forward, the front light comes on. So that's how you control the light. On the right, there's a toggle switch to go in forward and reverse, drive and reverse rather. It's got a twist knob. I'm gonna put it in the lowest gear. There's gear one, two, and three. So you can adjust your top speed and as you twist, it goes forward. Now you can tilt back the handlebar assembly and you can raise it as well. So if you wanted to raise it a little bit, you just release that clamp. And then if you wanna fold this assembly, you kinda do this number here. All right, so I just wanna show you one quick thing here. If you want to collapse the front steering column, you can, you depress or unlock that latch. And then you might have to rotate it counterclockwise a few times. And there's a little button, push button there that you're gonna to wanna to push with your finger. And then look, as we, well, actually that needs to be down. And then you push that and you could see here, I'm gonna to start to back away with the camera. This whole handlebar assembly will fold down. So you can actually get it to the point where it's nice and compact. And you can actually do the same thing down here. This is gonna pivot, bringing the whole assembly down with it. So let me just show you what that's like so you can get a good idea of what it's like if you wanna transport this in a car. So a lot of folks wanna take this with them someplace. They don't wanna just ride it around their home. So you take the seat off. I'm gonna turn the unit off and I'm gonna lower the handlebar all the way to make it as compact as possible. 
and down here basically you're gonna loosen up that knob loosen up this knob counterclockwise once it gets loose enough you're gonna see that this whole thing comes out now there's really no other way to get it to go down lower unfortunately but just being right here you're in a pretty good position to get this into the trunk of a car so it does collapse quite a bit and that's as far as it goes so we're going to put it back together now it's going to take a little bit to get that nut to go all or that bolt to go through the entire frame but we just wanted to show you that so i'm going to turn it on all the way with the lights on make sure i don't get any bugs in my eye put my sunglasses on and we're in speed one horns on let's go for a little ride now speed one i would guess is going to take you about six to seven miles per hour so if you're just cruising about speed one is perfectly fine especially if you're in tight spaces indoors now once we kick it up to speed two we're kicking up to about 11 12 miles per hour is what my guess would be so I'm gonna go all the way to the end and get you ready to show you what speed three is all about. Remember, 22 miles per hour. All right, so I've engaged speed three, turbo mode engaged. I'm gonna lean forward a little bit, make sure I don't get any bugs in my mouth, close my mouth. Man, that's fast. All right, so. As you can see, this thing is pretty quick. And just to give you a brake demo, those brakes work really, really well. As you can see, I just stomped on that rear brake. You could also use the front brake, but you wanna be careful when you do that. So again, this is a Chaser 1000 scooter. I absolutely love it. Brings back a lot of childhood memories. Highly recommend it. If you wanna learn more about this awesome scooter, visit our website, www.mobilitydirect.com or call our non-commissioned sales experts. We'd love to hear from you, answer any questions that you have. We hope to earn your business. Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a great day. Now, I do want to also show you that there is a lightweight folding version of the Chaser 1000, and it's called the Mighty Mini. It goes just about 20 miles per hour, so just as fast almost. Uh, a little less on the weight capacity at about 288 pounds, but it folds up and we have another video which we'll put in the link of the description so you can check out how this one works. They are both amazing scooters and we highly recommend them. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website mobilitydirect.com and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.